We cannot wait for the Wojciechowski family. Don't worry, you will not be tested on the spelling. <laughs> it's like, where's your house key, but put Woj on front, okay? As if spelling Shushevsky isn't hard enough, a Duke disciple with an even more difficult name finds himself now among the head coaching ranks. Marquette Steve Wojciechowski stopping by Campus Insider. Steve, great to see you. I, how early in life, I'm just curious, was it decided that it would just be easier if everybody called you Wojo? It was, it was, it was decided well before I could make the decision for myself. Uh, I just, that, that's, that's all I can remember, even from a little kid. They've, they've shortened my name. Uh, I think it's just easier on everyone that way. You've obviously been offered other head jobs before, Steve. Why Marquette and why now? Well, Marquette's a place where I think a kid can get the best of all worlds. You know, you can get a first-class education in an amazingly supportive community and play elite-level basketball. And if you look around the landscape of, of college basketball, there's only a handful of schools, uh, you know, like that, especially where college basketball is the driver. You know, in today's day and age, football sits in the driver's seat in most places. Here at Marquette, the basketball program is part of the fabric of the university. And for me, that, that was very attractive. Uh, also, it's a, Milwaukee is a place that is a great place to live, a great place to raise a young family. And so when you put all those things together, it's really the perfect situation at the perfect time for me. Shooting guard is a need for you. You landed a really strong transfer in BYU, Matt Carlino. What's the backstory there? Well, you know, I, again, I, I'm being a basketball junkie. I've I've appreciated Matt from a distance and how he played at BYU. Uh, he actually has uh, uh, some ties to the Marquette program. His great uncle Brian Brunkhorst played here, so he, even though he's a West Coast kid, uh, he knew about our program. And then, you know, again, he, he knew about me from my time at Duke, and so we hit it off right away when we found out that he was uh, looking to, to pursue something different. I think he's a kid who can really help our program. You know, he can do a lot of different things on the court. Uh, I think he'll make the players around him better, and we're very excited about his addition. Steve, you've talked about the obvious importance of being able to recruit in Wisconsin, but when you think about it, Duke has had such a stronghold in Chicago, Jabari Parker being the most recent. How do you balance your sweet spot versus bringing in home state kids? Well, I think there's you have to look for the guys who fit your culture and what and your needs, and and we want to stay close to home if we can. I mean, uh, Wisconsin. I've been very impressed with the quality of coaching, quality of player here in the state. But as you mentioned, you know, just a short drive down the road is Chicago. Uh, Minneapolis is another place. That turns out great players. I mean, so in a short in a short radius, there's a lot of outstanding players, and we want to build our recruiting uh, from there. And then hopefully I can use the national connections that I made uh, as a coach at Duke and having to recruit nationally to, to also bring in guys who fit what we're doing here. And finally, your prediction for the Golden Eagles record this coming season. No predictions. I'm not. A, I'm a, no prediction. My prediction is our guys are going to play their butts off. See, you were being so much fun, and that was just a total buzzkill. <laughs> Steve Wojciechowski, great to catch up with you again. Very best of luck in your first season at Marquette. Thank you.